Before that, let's explore World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is the system we use to access the Internet. The World Wide Web makes use of hypertext to access the various forms of information available on the world's different networks. This allows people all over the world to share knowledge and opinions. We typically access the web through browsers like Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox. By using browsers like these, you can visit various websites and view other online content. The World Wide Web consists of all the public websites connected to the Internet worldwide, including the client devices such as computers and cell phones that access web content. Have some basic idea of how does Internet work? Most of us know how to use Internet without actually understanding it. So do like an electricity at home, you use it every day but may not understand the mechanics behind it. And if the electric grid may be difficult to understand, then the internet may be impossible. Whenever most of the people think of internet, internet is just an interlink between any two PCs around the world. It is actually a wire buried in the ground. It may be fiber optic or copper or occasionally satellite when you access it through a cell phone. But the internet is simply a wire. The internet is useful because when two computers are connected to this wire, can communicate. Server is the special computer connected to the internet and web pages and files remains in that server's hard drives. Each server has its unique protocol address or IP address just like postal address. Let's see. 72.14.205.100 which is very hard to remember is given names like google.com, facebook.com etc. Now let's see how it works. Your computer at your home is not a server because it is not directly connected to internet. Computer that we use every day is called client because they are connected indirectly to the internet through an internet service provider. Here, we pretend this my home laptop and I'm using DSL that is digital subscriber line. Now let's pretend we have to visit AOL.com which is coincidentally a server and a ISP. I hoop into my laptop with DSL. Go through my ISP onto the internet and look at AOL.com. My computer connect with AOL.com and I can move through its web pages. Now let's say we want to send an email to Mr. X. Mr. X has AOL dial-up at home and I have got a Gmail account. When I log on to Gmail.com and compose a message to Mr. X email address mrx at AOL.com once I click send button Gmail sends this mail to AOL.com. So when Mr. X dials AOL.com, he can retrieve the email. Whenever an email, a picture or a web pages travels through an internet, computers break the information into smaller packets. When information reach its destination, the packets are reassembled to its original order to make email, web page or tweet. Imagine. You are working sitting next to your boss. You both are surfing online. Your boss is doing market research and you are updating Facebook profile. You both are sending packets back and forth on the internet. What if your packets accidentally ending up to your boss's screen? That could be embarrassing. The solution to that problem is IP address and routers. Everything connected directly or indirectly has its IP address that includes your computer servers, cell phones and all the components in between. Anywhere two or more parts of internet intersect there is piece of equipment called router. 
routers direct your packet around the internet helping each packet to reach one step closer to its destination every time you visit a website about 10 to 15 routers may help your router to find his way to and from the computers imagine each packet is piece of candy wrapped in several layers the first layer is your computer's IP address your computer send its packet to routers which have its own IP address every time the packet reaches to another router another layer is added until it reaches the server then when the server sends back information it creates packets with identical wrapping as the packets make their way over the internet back to your computer each router unwraps a layer to discover what is in the packet until it reaches your computer and not to your bosses